someone was told lies about you that you were doing something to them or saying something about them and you've been talking about them oh my gosh i'm seeing somebody it's a woman here i almost want to say a queen of swords reversed woman that i'm seeing that they're showing me who's just a liar this woman is crazy Please welcome to Reading Journey. My little butter buns. This is Journey. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. So glad to have you. Let me peek my little head in. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Did you get to partake in the um, eclipse energy, the annual annual annular blah, 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 solar eclipse in Libra today? Um I was able to participate in it. It was absolutely amazing. Um, definitely felt the energy. It was interesting because I've never, that was my first time really sitting and feeling it, feeling it. But I took some time out and I would lay it out and I meditated. And I, so I was outside and I felt it. And it was quite beautiful. And I was like, the thing about it though, I always try to prepare a little earlier to get out there to do the um eclipse because sometimes the times are off like even my calendar that i have it's off by um eight minutes or something yeah no by five minutes and that can be a big deal um you'll still experience it but really getting that feel of it resonating over your body it was so interesting it felt like um like something was um, coming over me like a, a nice comfy blanket and then it would rise and then it would come back and like it was it was like an energy land i know it sounds weird no ain't i you know i'm around with no energies now come on y'all no weird shit but it actually felt it felt very peaceful very kind like a warm blanket of energy newness um upon me and so regardless of you, if you stopped to enjoy it Darling, if you are doing the healing work and you are just, it's, it's going to affect, everybody's going to be affected by it regardless, regardless. Um, so if you feel like you missed out on something, you certainly did not. Um, but it was a very good experience. So if any of uh, anyone else got to experience that, kudos to you. A great, great, great thing. All right. So I just want to see what they are wanting you to know. I was feeling really good after that energy. And uh, just very happy, very thankful. It was actually, for me, when it took place, it took uh, place at, um, it was a, uh, hold on, I got to calculate because they showed me the Eastern time. So it was, so it was like uh, 844, 844. Um, Pacific time. So for me, it landed right on that 44. It was so cool. Um, Cause I was like, the time that I was given, it was like, um, when I found the actual correct time and I didn't know, I wasn't, I didn't even look at the, my calendar. I just did a Google search and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, 8.43, let me be ready at 8. 35 right so i was around 8 30 8 35 so i got out there laid down and sure enough um i happened to look at my clock a few minutes before and it was like 8 38 then next thing you know i just laid down did my meditation just really basking in the energy and um it hit and i was like wait a minute i was like i bet you i bet you it, I, I, no i was like what time is it i i'm saying to my guide and my guy was like 8 44 and I was like, no way, no way. And I was like, but I want to look. And I was like, but I don't want to miss it. I'm still, because the energy was still going. The energy was still going at the time. And so I was like, no, nah, I can't, I can't miss this. I'll check it in a minute and I'll know, I'll know. I'll go back and look and I bet you I can kind of fill out the time. And um, sure enough, I go back. When I went to look at it, it was 8.46. I was like, yep, yep, it was 8.44. Not that it, and my guy was like, you didn't trust me. I was like, not that I didn't trust you. I want to see it myself. You know what I'm saying? I want to see it for myself. 
But anyway, I hope that was helpful for somebody. I don't know why I need to share that, but it was fun. I just want to let you know it was it was fun. And uh, we're all getting that energy, especially if you did the work. You're all getting it. You've all received it. So you've got some things closed out, especially in relationships that no longer serve you. Um, your ideas on relationships, you're done with. They no longer serve you. Some of you have had some dark things being done to you. Can't be done anymore. It is severed. That Libra solar eclipse has severed it. Okay, so... All right, so let's get into it. For those of you who like to know, I'm clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, meaning I can hear, see, feel energies. I also can smell energies. I dream dreams and can interpret as well as um, have visions. You should be also having some really good dreams, maybe in the last few days. Um, some good dreams, interesting dreams, right? I've been having some amazing dreams, absolutely fun dreams, learning a lot in the dreams, meeting some interesting people in the dreams. Yo, it's just so wild. So wild. This matrix is just so beautiful. All right, so let's see. What do we got here? What do we got, Peace Spirit? I got some stuff running. I jumped it out, but I'm not ready. Okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. All right, now, go ahead. If y'all want to throw stuff out, go ahead. Oh, and they do. Four things. All right, so we've got, okay, got a bottle of wine with two glasses. We've got a cloud. Why do I feel like the cloud belongs over the bottle of wine with the two cups? Ooh, that's not nice. We've got a, a rat here. Is that a rat or a mouse? And we've got a wish. A wish on a star here. Oh, okay. Somebody might, might know where that comes from. Okay. Mm. So what I'm getting here is I feel like there's a cloud over a, there could be somebody that you're dealing with, or this could be you, take it as it resonates. There's a cloud over a, over a connection. So a, co a connection is not working out because somebody is a rat. Okay. There's something about somebody being a rat and this wish on a star somebody's getting a wish hmm. so what i'm getting is if there was a cloud there's looks like there was some type of connection here there was a cloud over a relationship somebody was causing something somebody was causing some mess to stop a connection okay you know what it's funny take it as it resonates i knew that we might be talking about love earlier there was, it came to my mind to do some type of love connection reading. And I was like, nah, I won't do that. But it looks like I need to do that. So it's going that route. All right. So let's talk about it. Let me get this deck that they just showed me. Island Time Wellness Awakening Oracle Cards and Love Oracle, I believe. Yeah. Let's make sure these are not reversed. And they are. All right. So cloud over a connection, huh? From a rat. A rat was trying to stop a cloud over connection. No. Oh, okay. I thought we were going another route. So pay attention for another read. I'm going to try to put out another one. But let's see what we get. Okay. It could also be read, though. Somebody who you're connected to. Who had you had love for that you're no longer with was end up was being a rat. Okay, there we go. Was being a rat because they knew you were getting some type of wish fulfillment. So there's that as well. So there's two energies going on here. Wow, who are you that somebody has to, you got two different, I feel like these people don't even know each other. But, But things are coming to the light. I feel like because you're a healer and it's going to happen really, it's going to happen suddenly. With I like you, somebody, somebody has favor over you though. Somebody, somebody knows something here and they have a favor over you. You could be seeing spiders a lot. Something about spiders. 
Is somebody in here a black widow? I don't know. We're doing magic with spiders or insects. Mm, that's been I'm hearing. Somebody did um, magic with insects on someone. So you're going to find out pretty quickly, huh? Something's coming to light quickly. This actually goes this way. Okay. Yeah. Somebody has been hiding a mask and it's simply because they don't want to show their true feelings. Somebody really does care about you here. Somebody wants to begin again. This could be a lover. This could be family. This could be anybody. Okay. Take it to resonate. Yeah. Somebody is very much in love with you. Again, family, lover, any of it. We're reading both. Okay. Because I'm getting both energies here. Good. Because I don't want to have to do a second one. These readings are draining. <laughs> when you're dealing with energy, man, it can be. And I was feeling so good. All right. So. Yeah, somebody here has really been masking how they feel about you. They really want to begin again. I don't feel like you're dealing with them anymore. I feel that very strongly. Somebody's been on your side over here. I don't know who this is. I'm hearing that song, By Your Side, by Sade. You think I leave your side, baby? You know me better than that. So that one um, by the Neptunes, that one's a bomb. One of my faves. Um, someone still supports you. There's someone who supports you who, okay, this person may have went against you or walked away. Okay, there's different things here. I've got someone, so somebody did something against you, okay? But they have supported you all along. They've always cared about you. Then there's someone for some of you who did something but they had to walk away. And that's for you lover people. For some of you, you could be having both, both people. Like this is both situations for someone. Flat. This card's calling me. Yeah, somebody had to walk away from you. Somebody loved someone here and they had to walk away. They had to walk away. Or they were told to walk away or were convinced or lied to to walk away from you. I'm also, again, feeling this could be not just a love situation. Someone was told lies about you, that you were doing something to them or saying something about them, and you've been talking about them. Oh, my gosh. I'm seeing somebody. It's a woman here. I almost want to say a queen of swords, reversed woman that I'm seeing that they're showing me who's just a liar. This woman is crazy. She's crazy. She just makes up lies. She just makes up lies. Yeah, because she's hurt. Somebody here is hurt because people love you. It's either so for some people love you. For others, there's one particular person that absolutely loves you and adores you. And that person has never experienced love like that. They want that love, that feeling that that person has for you. Or if some of you have, it's both. It's both. You've got somebody that supports you and then there's somebody who absolutely loves you and has been in love with you in a romantic way. So there's, you, I think you got me. This a lot. Okay. <laughs> I keep saying this a lot. And someone is so heartbroken because you're so well respected. You're so well loved. You're also, I'm hearing you're attractive. Well, a lot of times, you know what? I have seen, and I'm not trying to say nobody ugly. Just go with me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I've seen some of the ugliest moments be beautiful because they are so beautiful inside. And they always got some beautiful smile or something about them stands up that stands out that's absolutely beautiful because they're authentically, authentic, authentically 
them. It's not always about what people look like. I remember when I was younger, my aunt used to say that. And I used to look at her like, are you crazy? <laughs> right? I was in my 20s, so I was 20s and stuff, early, early before that. And she'd be like, it's not always about the looks, honey, baby. It's not always about, and it's truly not. It's truly not. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I keep hearing that song. Somebody's like, and it's funny because somebody may have, when they let go, they really didn't let go. They couldn't. They couldn't. Their heart couldn't do it. Because somebody here, there's a, uh, this could be for someone, a twin flame connection, okay? If that's you and resonates, that's great. I'm not diagnosing nothing new today. This is something you already know. Or there's some type of love cord. I'm hearing a cord that can't be severed by anyone. And I feel like for somebody, there's some weirdo trying to sever connections here. Because somebody was so obsessed because they never had love like the love that this person has for you. And they're mad because this person can't stop loving you. They can't stop forgetting about you, no matter what they do, no matter what they say. So for example, yeah, this person, no matter what they say, that connection is there. That love connection is still there. Someone may be still trying to reach out or was in the past or wants to. Yeah, see, watching, watching, looking, stalking. <laughs> this person, so what I'm feeling too, they're showing me, is there's somebody in a love situation. Stop thinking about them. Oh, I'm not thinking about them anymore. And this could be a love situation where they were trying to, because again, I'm getting two stories. One, they're showing me where someone was in a connection. They chose somebody over you, but they were tricked, lied to, all types of magic, manipulation, and everything was done. Okay. And so they were like, and this person may have done some things to you too with this other person to prove their love for you, to prove that they were not in love with you, which was absolutely dumb because they still were. And it actually caused them some karma and problems because somebody, 17, 17 on clock, has a cord to you. So every time they did something to you, they did it to themselves. That's deep. So, and they're also showing me someone that's in uh someone you're no longer connected to but they still care for you your family right or you had children by this person or with this person and they were like nope i'm not nope i don't pay attention to them anymore nope not loving them not nope 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 but they would find them watching you stalking watching if you're online they're watching your social medias if you are an influencer who are watching your videos, looking you up, they got caught and it was more than once. And I'm here now more than twice. They're so cute. They were like several times. And this person, sometimes they wouldn't let on that they knew, but they knew. Because the, so part of them didn't want to let them know because then they, they had the good sense to know that it would probably show their jealousy. Child, I don't know. Yeah, see, the truth, the truth is this person really cared about you. These people really care about you. Whoever this is, they really care about you. They have honor for you. Someone even found out they were going back. Okay, this is interesting. Somebody was going back and having, if they, oh, for someone, this person would participate in a spell, but then would go back and pay somebody and tell them what the spell was done and pay someone else to take the spell off. <laughs> I know, I'm hearing, why would you do the spell in the first place? I know. I think that's one of my seers. One of y'all 
said that. I agree. Like, why would you do it in the first place? Like, y'all not, these are not, these are grown folks. These are not teenagers. Yeah, because this person, they still have love for you. This family member, this lover, whoever this is, this ex. Yeah, look at these. All these cards, connection cards. Heart with the key. You hold their heart. You have the key to their heart. Yeah. Karmic relationship. Somebody knew they were dealing with a karmic, a karmic relationship. Now, please listen. Don't I ain't got to explain all that shit. Um, somebody was dealing with a karmic. Either a karmic lover, or I'm even getting a karmic mother. Somebody was dealing with um the mother was playing a karmic because participating in this. It's so weird to me. I just, I just, but let's let's move on. So, what are you finding out, lightning speed? Something you're finding out, lightning speed. Um, let's do something different. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna pull these. They also bringing me to this career oracle deck too. What are you finding out, lightning speed? Again, more relationships. Could be, again, a car says business partners, office love, co-workers, family members. Jeez. What's coming out light and speed? Well, part of it, somebody knows that the evil eye that they've been sending you is coming back. Or has come back that you are basically you're protected and nothing can touch you you're in you're already in your north node they found out that you behind the scenes you knew what was going on you did you've been knowing the whole time <laughs> somebody feels like that you someone has been though because that's what i'm getting Someone you've been hiding in their energy. <laughs> they were looking at you and I'm looking at me and I'm looking at you. <laughs> so, wow, wow, see her? Who this? So you were in their energy peeking too and masked. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yo, that's just funny as hell. <laughs> And they gonna find out. <laughs> and they found out. But they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna find out. Okay, they're gonna find out. That's funny. I'm tickled. Just oh, they're gonna find out that you're getting some type of help or handout here. Some type of recognition you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be getting. I'm hearing and they're sick about it. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Who the hell's hanging out? I love that. Yo, whoever you are, I absolutely adore you. <laughs> that is funny as hell. Like, yeah, you gonna pick on me? I'm gonna pick on you. Shit. We're gonna pick together. <laughs> Yo, I love that. <coughs> Excuse me. What else did they find it out? You got me over here crying. See, this is funny as shit. <laughs> I'm looking at you. No, bitch, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my gosh. I love my job. <laughs> Y'all, there's something else. Woo. Somebody's trying to escape or somebody's trying to get out of a cage. Somebody's trapped in something. Somebody's going to find out they're trapped and they can't get out. Somebody's going to find out they're stuck. Oh, I'm also hearing that you're loose. <laughs> what the hell? Basically, what they're telling me is you got freed for some, from something. Whatever they're trying to do, you got freed. Whatever's supposed to happen has happened. Whatever you were supposed to receive, you receive. So something is going to take place where they're going to find out you're free, baby. You're not locked up under no, no circumstances. <laughs> God damn it, y'all finally bring it up. Yeah, another bird. A hummingbird. Ooh, a hummingbirds are about abundance. Hummingbirds are about protection, success. Yeah, and you know what? I had a dream. The dream I had last night was about all these birds. This man 
who was uh, in the dream. He was giving me something. And he was protecting me. He was so cute. I didn't know from Adam, but he had a liking to me in the dream. And then he gave me this T-shirt with all these birds on it. It had like probably 12 birds or something like that. 10, 12 birds. I don't know why. 12, I guess it was 12. And um, all the birds had some beautiful meaning to them. Like one would say, one said success. One said uh, like just all these great things that were happening. So it looks like it's coming out in your reading. Yeah, they're going to find out with light really quickly. Suddenly that you're not caged up. And that what you said has come true. I'm hearing that as well. That the news that you were saying, so this could be definitely something you some you know how to prophesy, or you're a reader, or something, you're psychic something. The things that you said were true, and that you are not trapped, and everything you said was gonna happen has happened. Damn. Now this is sticking out. Apples here. Two, three apples. Let me. Hmm. Give me a second here. See here. So suddenly you'll find out. Some suddenly you may find out that not all of you. Somebody had a child with somebody else, and it wasn't their child. They were lied to. I'm hearing a son. Somebody knew somebody wanted a son and they lied to them to participate so that they could um, either for someone participating in some rituals going against you and for someone else so that they could get money from this person this person i'm hearing sucker somebody was a sucker i'm not saying you're a sucker somebody was trying to play you as one they this is what they saw that person as so whoever watching cross watching or whatever they are watching i don't know yeah and they're gonna find out somebody had many choices They're also going to find out someone has gifts. And whoever has these gifts and choices is about to receive that uh, opportunity. That door is about to open. On her unlock. Child, that's a whole lot. There's a lot of, this, I feel like three different reads going on at once. What the hello kitty. All right, well. Y'all got me cracking up today. Anything else? It's kind of a dead read. I'm going to say this. Why I'm saying it's dead. The energy I feel is like this is squashed. Like there's nothing else that can be done other than for them to wait. I feel like it's dead. That's what I feel. I don't feel anything. Yeah, a key. So there's something about this door is about to unlock. Somebody's got the key here. Also, a couple that someone didn't want to come together is going to come together. There's no separation. Then you can't separate them. Because the core, this has been since creation. That's what I'm hearing. This has been since creation. This was never going to get severed. Delay, sure. Delay, learn some lessons, things like that. But this was never going to get severed. Let's take a, some more uh, a look at this rat a little bit more. Because that shit right there, I don't even have anything else to read about it. Honestly, I feel like the energy is so dead. Like I can't, there's nothing for me to go any further on. Yeah, so this rat is having no movement with the Prince of Cups. They can't move or can't move towards you. You've moved. I'm getting that as well. You've moved away, so they can't find you. Well, yeah, because they don't want to be near your ass. What the hell? Like, what? I wouldn't want to be near a rat. I mean, are these reversed? They are. Hold on, sweetheart. When I cut the deck, yep, I saw it again. Victory. 
So somebody's disappointed because you're having victory. This rat over here, they're disappointed because there was nothing that they could do. You're still seen as a sweetheart, the queen of cups, regardless of gender. Yeah, and you tear his shit down. You, you, yep, yeah, you, 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 <laughs> like I'm cutting. Failure, they failed to do anything here. You created a fail, you created this tower and this caused failure for this person, this rat. Could be just the energy itself, because I do feel behind the energy there's a bunch of people. Pleasure seeking people, I'm hearing. Yeah, pleasure people seeking pleasure. Looking for fun, I'm hearing. These are weird. This is weird. Y'all are grown. Like you can't find like fun in the in the in the in the beauty. I just saw the devil card too. You can't find fun in like like there must be another way to have fun. Shit, there's so much things to do in this world, and this is fun. Like causing somebody's life to go to sh to shit, and it didn't work. That's fun. Okay, well. Obviously, it's not anymore, but you know, hey, who am I? The Bible says this pleasure and sin for a season, so I can't change what the hell that says. Upanishad, why do I need to say this? I'm not, they want me to show you something in this book. Hold on, sweet spirit. What is it you want me to show? This is random as hell. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm reading. I'm reading it for somebody, but let's go ahead and read it. Is it read the next one? Okay. Okay. okay, they enter into blind darkness who worship avadya, ignorance and delusion. They fall as it, as it, as it were into greater darkness who worship vidya, knowledge. Hmm. So basically what I'm getting is those that go into blind darkness and worship ignorance and delusion, eventually they're going to change. Right? Yeah. They fall as it were into great darkness. That's kind of what I'm getting. Or it's like they enter into blindness, darkness, so when you worship ignorance and delusion, you just fall darker. Eventually you get to a place where you get so dark that you, you realize who is the all that is. You realize that the shit that you're participating in, everything was created by source itself. Everything was created by source. So at the end of the day, trying to fight somebody, that's your sister. That's your brother. You're not going to win. We're all in this. We're all in this together, honey. We're all connected, whether we want to be or not. So at the end of the day, what they're going to figure out, Sears. I call my folks Sears because we see things. What they're going to figure out is that at the end of the day, Source was in control of it all. Wait a minute. I forgot. Let me give you some identifiers uh, so you can have a little I uh, idea of who, who you are dealing with, my little peanut butter buns. Let's get these. Okay, sugar butt. Oh, that hopped. All right, so we got a low vibrational Capricorn that's been doing something to you. Low vibrational Leo for some of you. Low vibrational Virgo for some. Low vibrational Aries. You could be a Leo that's watching, that's going through this. You could be a Virgo that's watching, that's going through this. You could be a Gemini that's watching, that's going through this. Some of you are dealing with a low vibrational Scorpio and a low vibrational Sagittarius. I'm going to head it out for you. You could be a Libra that's watching. Sagittarius hate somebody, huh? 
You could be also a Sagittarius that's watching. Let's see, double on uh, confirmation on the low vibrational Capricorn, double double on the Libra that's watching. So Libra, this is definitely for you, Buki. And a low vibrational Virgo. You could also be a Virgo that's watching. Yep, 88. Somebody walking away with some type of abundance, whatever abundance means to you. Could be seeing it a lot. Four from 411 police could be involved in this situation. God damn. And they're coming to get an Aries. Could also be an Aries that's watching. There's an air sign male, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be receiving some type of abundance as well. But I'm here to tell you, if you dodge your child support, they're taking it all. Sorry to deliver that to you. Well, no. Take care, take care of your damn baby. Shit. Okay, somebody got a birthday on the 20th, or they could be 20 years old. Angels are protecting somebody with the birthday on the 20th. If you know you've been on the up and up, baby, they're protecting you. They see you. Oh my gosh. Yo, y'all are funny. It literally landed on the same card that I said when you were in the energy looking at their ass. <laughs> I love y'all yo whoever that was funny and but but the rest of you you already know that they've been doing this foolishness you know there's been some shenanigans going on a past over loved one also has been helping and protecting y'all okay passed over like, twice wow passed over loved one passed over loved one double confirmation your past over loved one has been going ham on somebody they're not like nah you're not gonna take my baby shit leave them alone Libra, there you are again, darling. Libra, you're in the read. There was also, see, somebody was being very petty with Libra. Somebody was being very petty. There could have all have been a low vibrational Libra being petty as well. Somebody with a silver SUV, truck, or minivan. You could be seeing 1212 a lot. Shit, man. Somebody, somebody yeah, something could have took place at 1212 too. Somebody has 23 or a birthday on the 23rd, February 23rd too. I heard that. Somebody with a beard was being petty. Somebody with a white car could also have a beard, doesn't have to. Somebody born in the 1980s. Somebody was doing candle magic, okay? Could, uh, Aries was doing candle magic or anybody could have been doing it. A cancer as well was doing can candle magic. Fire sign, male involved, Leo, what is that? Leo, Aries, oops, sorry. Hold on, my hair is in the way. Sagittarius, somebody with a birthday on the 9th or the 10th, September or October of any, uh, yeah, as well. 9th or 10th of any month in September, October. Somebody 34 could be involved. Somebody, uh, something, hold on. Somebody was doing candle magic in 2016, and it could have been specifically a cancer. 12. Let's see. Somebody a birthday on the 12th or a birthday in December was doing candle magic on somebody since 2016 on a cancer too. They're about to get karma though. Somebody, they're all getting karma here. Somebody 36 for sure is getting karma. So, uh, there's a Sagittarius for sure getting can uh, karma too. I was going to say cancer. It could be a cancer as well. No, they all getting a cancer as well at the end of the day. Gen Z, uh, could it took place with someone, a 34-year-old, doing something with a 34-year-old, or do or partook in something in 2016 with rituals? Also has something to do with, uh, there's somebody, okay, so somebody been messing with somebody's property or stocks, uh, stolen property or stocks. I heard that. Property or stocks, somebody is a Gen Z involved, just somebody from 2006, they've been doing this since 2016. There could be a Sagittarius involved or an Afucus, could be, or somebody with a birthday on the 12th was involved on that. They are all getting karma. There's also that 36 year old could also be tied to this too. One 
somebody with a birthday on the 26th or 26 year old is also involved with that property or stock there's a capricorn involved that could be you or the capricorn you could be dealing with a capricorn i said one more yeah i'm done all right somebody with a birthday in february or the second of any month or a life path of two again i'm journey thank you so much i appreciate you peace health and harmony take care darling